Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Antisocial Chat Show. And I am one of your hosts, Tara Tomiko, digital marketer and app queen. And I'm here with the lovely Bumpera. Hello, I'm Eleanor Gould and I'm Chief Domestic. No, I'm Chief Own Domestic Goddess and Creative <laughs> Copywriter. <Nice. laughs> and of course, I'm a copywriter as well. You can tell we're totally unscripted because I forgot my, um, I forgot who I was. <laughs> So Tara, this week we're going to be talking about groups, both LinkedIn groups and Facebook groups. Right. So I'll leave it to you. What have you got to say? I know you've always well, got a lot to say. It's funny that you say that as well, just to prove this is not scripted. Twitter conversations, that's another thing that has popped up. Have you seen that? Yeah. I've added to those. I don't get them. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Twitter, but yes. Let's start specifically with Facebook because you know I've got a little rant. Rant's coming up. (laughs) Um, I'm in a group and here's the problem. Being added to groups, okay? Mm. Now, I've looked at Facebook community Q&As where people have asked for years, can you please put a feature where if, you know, we're added to a group, we can decide. Uh, Facebook obviously is ignoring that. I've got better things to do. Um, So... My pet peeve is not just being added to groups, but being added to a group after you've had a conversation with someone. So basically, I'm in this group, and we're all, um, sometimes we go offline, we have, you know, we're PMing, and it's great. People are used to it in this group. I know it's a bit of a weird thing, like don't PM anyone offline, but this group is, that's what you do, and we're helping each other out. So I'm having conversations like, hey, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, what do you think? We're having a proper conversation where I can say, oh, I've just just wasted five minutes. Should have been Mm -hmm. working on my business. And then a day later, that person just asked me to a group, to a group of a product that I don't even use. Oh, Uh, that's very cool. It's a bit weird because I can understand if people are like, I don't know, maybe they have some kind of incentive for increasing the numbers in the group. So they're just clicking and adding everyone but if you've had a conversation with someone does it not make sense to say hey by the way are you in xyz group because i am and it's really great shall i add you yeah go ahead add me or you know that's a bit strange have you have you experienced i've not experienced actually having a conversation with per person and they added me i might be a bit more you know uh, okay with that even but yeah i've had um i have people add me to groups all the time and i find it annoying to be quite honest and it's rude because that's one it, it's you know they're assuming you want to be in that group i mean i've got enough on my plate running my own group i don't have time to go in other people's groups anyway even though that i'm sure they're great and fantastic right um, and also you know some groups i've been added to it's like people assuming that you know i'm uh, okay with their cause you know it's a political right something like that and i'm like oh, no. No. This, is, this is a bit embarrassing because i'm gonna have to and take, you know, yeah, take leave the group. Out, leave the group. I mean, I don't mean to be rude to people, but please don't add me to groups unless <laughs> unless I ask. Oh, I want to be a right. member of that group. Can you add me? And anyway, I'd request to join myself. myself. Anyway, I, I actually see that a lot in my group. I, I you can tell when people get to join whether they've been added by people. Oh, okay. I always feel so sorry for them because they must get added to a group and then straight away they get a load of questions from me. You know, um, and Demonstrating, hang on. Is, is this? I don't, oh, so is they this, still have to. Fill they want to be in my group, you know. Yeah. They have to fill out those questions still. Oh yeah, I I don't allow anyone to just be added to my group. Yeah, that's that's well, the the groups that I've been added to, it's I'm straight in there. And mm. and the thing is, here's another thing. Well, <clears throat> if you're in a secret Facebook group, then nobody can see that you're there. But if it's a closed group, then you know everybody on your Facebook, you know, who's friends with you on Facebook can see what groups you're in so worse it's not, if it's public worse yeah I well, yeah i know but public i've never been added to but i was thinking what if somebody added me to a bdsm group <laughs> and then my mum looks oh, oh what's that because it will come up with all oh, taurus in this group do you want to join wouldn't be good yeah i mean and also it does have an effect because when i uh look at you know allow people into my group it's first thing i look at a i'll look see if they're anything to do with copywriting b our next thing the very next thing i look at is all the groups they're in and if they're not copywriting related 
or writing related or social media they're not coming in quite frankly you know i get some people who yeah i'm a copywriter and they're in all sorts of like you know oh looking for lovely ladies group and things like that. <laughs> get real you know really, it's so not coming into my group so it does yeah, uh, make a difference right. That doesn't sound right at all. Yeah, as, as you know, I've never run a Facebook group and I have no plans to, so... No, I, don't, I don't blame you. It's lovely, really. <laughs> oh, the, ad, the, oh, ad, the admin oh. sounds like a bit of a pain because your group is great. People are quite, you know... I, I guess it's because you weed, weed everyone out, but your group went from 345 when I joined last year to how many, how many are in there now? It's like over 2,000. 2,400, something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's See, so I suppose it, it gets more difficult when you have more people in it. Yeah, I try and keep it. I don't want it to grow rapidly. I won't be able to manage it on my own. I mean, I've got the lovely Sue Kelso Ryan who helps me, but I, we won't be able to manage it, if it as it gets bigger. And also I want to keep, I'm really tight on the quality. I know some people might think, oh, you know, she's a bit harsh at times, but I, I've, they've got to realise, you know, I'm there to you know, be the sheriff, I've got to carry a big stick at times. In fact, yeah. I think I'm a bit too soft at times. <laughs> and, you know, I can see what people are doing, you know. I mean, right. I think, you know, you've got to have eyes in the back of your head. Yeah. But you, you kind of can get to see when there's, you know, your internet market, oh, what colour do you like? Or, <laughs> hey, where are you all from? Come on, please. Or <laughs> the person who joins straight away and drops a link, oh, it's just thought I'd share my blog post with you. I mean, right. we weren't born yesterday <laughs> You get the poachers who are just in to poach, you know, new copywriters, you know, for their own business. It's just, I can see it. You can see it. <laughs> and what about your LinkedIn group? Because I know you also have a LinkedIn group. I don't like LinkedIn groups, just, just so that. Uh, no, I don't actually. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, it's, it's <laughs> a shame because it, it's got, it can be a fabulous group. I actually think my, my group on Facebook would be brilliant if I could replicate that on LinkedIn because it's full of, that's what LinkedIn is. It's a professional network and I love LinkedIn. I love it. Right. But um, I don't love the groups because uh, you can't see the notifications. So unless you're committed and you go into the group every day and start, you know, um, engaging with others, that group is not going to go anywhere. I've been speaking to a few other professionals about it. And really, unless you... LinkedIn made some changes I don't know why I'm hoping they've made these changes and then they're going to put them back again or evolve in some way I really 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 hope they do but I have been speaking to others who've been complaining about it and the only groups that are successful at the moment are ones that were big before the changes right. one particular okay. one that I really like actually and I only joined a week or so ago um, is one by a lady called Sufit about T S U F I T, mm -hmm. and uh, it's called Step Into the Spotlight. I think it's got six oh. or seven thousand members, but it's really good. It's packed full of quality people, so I'll put the link below. Okay. And it's just about you know um, stepping into the spotlight sort of thing, but it's a really good group full of value. So that's one on there that I I really really like. I don't get it though. Stepping into the spotlight of what? Sorry. Uh, it's like, about um, stepping into the spotlight. Uh, Better if I tell you a little bit about her. She was okay. a lawyer and then she uh, went into her showbiz. And it's oh. all, and she uses her showbiz skills to show you how to, you know, um, promote your business, you know, brand yourself, yeah. step into the spotlight, literally. So I love that, that somebody from that, uh, you know, that, you know, from the acting and singing profession is showing us how to be stars of her own show as she says there's like all business is show business and i think right. it's very true why am so, I oh, I really that group. Like that. why didn't you add me to that group automatically maybe i will i will well, <laughs> I'll, definitely, I'll definitely put the link below and everyone can join it so yeah that's one i like on there and of course my own the copywriter and i want more people to join and engage I think um, LinkedIn is going to improve, though. Oh, uh, it's got to, because it's, you know, it's really blowing up at the moment, and there's lots of brilliant content on there. I get so much from LinkedIn at the moment, because people write such interesting posts. Okay, there are a few, you know. There are posts, a few that are... Generally speaking. A bit... Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it, but when I look at it, I just think surreal. That's the word. That's <laughs> surreal. Yeah. Like, I'm like... Yeah. Oh. yeah. I just suddenly feel woo 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 when they start speaking. It's like somebody got a template somewhere, and that's what they're using. 
Uh, yeah, I think there's a few. Uh, you use this to write your LinkedIn post templates around. Yes, so you have to start with a story, and you have to, you know, oh, I was, you know, I had one buck in my account, and I started my startup, and then I realised, you know, that kind yeah, of. Yeah, but I'm seeing things like I was standing on top of the roof when it occurred to me. Well, no, I don't want to actually use the example, so I'm just coming up with something random. Yeah. So it's like somebody saying, as I looked across the road and I saw the rainbow this is what i'm reading oh i want to i'm gonna i'm gonna <laughs> I'm just like, connect with some of the people you're connected with <laughs> yeah, great. i'm connected to them through you hello <laughs> that's hilarious I, don't know. I, mean, I was posted on there but I, I i realize that when i post things i'm kind of pretty much how i am in my home life i'm quite functional so I'm just like, here's a tip or here's an idea. Yeah, but that's what that's that. the that's the type of type of content. I love, I love it when it says, here, here are your tips. I'm like, oh yeah, give me, give me more. Yeah, I love not, tips. I'm not so seeing a useful. lot of that on LinkedIn lately. It's more woo woo. Oh kidding. wow, I'm sorry you're getting woo woo. I'll get <laughs> tips and really good stuff and maybe you know, I'm not following the people are. and that you are. <laughs> no, being a copyright, I'm lapping it up because I had I you know i i well, have to have that knowledge you know yeah. i just like learning so much about different you know people even if it's them. even if it's woo woo you like it because you can oh, i like a bit of woo -woo. You've got to have a bit of woo woo from time to time look i'm woo woo <laughs> now i want to go to urban dictionary and put in the word woo woo yeah <laughs> okay i have a question for you how many groups are you in on facebook I don't know. You have to look at my profile. Probably about twenty, if that. I'm not, I did go. I did have a purge once, and so just went come out of a, a lot of groups. I, I I don't know how many I'm in, but I'm in a lot less now. A lot less. Yeah. Um, I'm on. I decided to go on a diet, an information diet, um, mm -hmm. because I think, and I don't know. I'd love to know what everybody else thinks. That sometimes you're getting so much information. It gets a bit confusing. Now, I'm a digital marketer. I love everything to do with marketing, but there are different trains of thoughts that people, you know, agree or don't or disagree. Um, so I've decided to stick with the ones that kind of resonate with me, so that I'm not taking in other information. So I, yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a diet. So I'm getting my information from one source. And if I've had enough of that, I'll move on to the next. Yeah, I mean, a few good ones out there. I still had to give them the chop. Yeah, I'm more into business groups, um, mostly mostly copyright ones, I think, or digital marketing ones mostly. But I do know a lot of people join groups because that's where they, you know, they uh, fish for right. clients, isn't yeah. it? So mm -hmm. a copywriter will be in a, I don't know, a crochet group. Well, that's not a crochet group, but you know, if yeah. well, it might be if they're a copywriter in the crochet niche. But you know, it's a good. Uh, place to, to find clients if you go into things like, like in my group you know it's full of copywriters so I've always wondered why do copywriters try and <laughs> market themselves in my group we're all copywriters, we're all copywriters yeah <laughs> well no and I and that's I was, not an invite that's not an invite for people to come in and start marketing themselves in my group <laughs> no I assure you but um you know it's um I think what I'm anyway not what I think but uh, what I meant was like being in like I like your copywriting group and, and the utterly compelling um, email group, which you have to be on the course in order to, to be in that group. And I like getting my copywriting ideas and inspirations yeah. just from one place. And yeah, there are quite a lot of others. And I know you're in them, but I've come out of them. It's just very different. And I think that if I get to a point where, you know what, I really need to work on copywriting, like I'm going to spend the next 90 days working on copywriting, then I will join them more so I can yeah. get all the information. But I just think it's too much, even with, you know, digital marketing, social media and so forth. I like the idea of joining groups in order to promote yourself if you're adhering to the rules. If yeah. you join in a crochet group because you're a copywriter and you want to help out business and you're transparent about it and you're actually adding so you crochet yourself or you know about crocheting because that's what you copyright, then I think that's fine. But then wouldn't that make sense to you if somebody says, you know, I'm a crochet copywriter and then you look at all their groups and you see that they're in crochet groups, to you, doesn't that make a bit of sense? Like, ah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. actually they're providing a valuable service. Um, 
hey, I'm, I'm going to come, I'm going to start crochet copywriting. It sounds like a really good thing. I know, right? <laughs> you talk about? One day I will, hey. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I'm totally with you there, Tara. Um, I did a purge, I can't remember how long ago it was, and I, I couldn't believe some of the groups I was actually in. So I can't even remember. Someone must have added me into that. What I don't like, and one thing I don't do in my group, and I know a lot of people will disagree with me on this, and probably, mm -hmm. but uh, when people join the group, I don't tag them in and say, oh, okay. introduce yourself, because I really don't like it myself. I always think, right. please don't tag me in and tell me to introduce myself. I'll introduce myself if I want to introduce myself. I just right. want to, you know, I I'm the person who walks into the room and just like goes and runs for the coffee first, you know, at a network meeting. I'm like, <laughs> where's that opposite? I, 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 just start, go, I just start answering questions when people ask something and then I realise, oh, I didn't even say, hi, I'm Tara. I just, oh, you should try this. Oh, you should do this. Oh, I see what the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> just straight in there. <laughs> yeah. And so you can imagine what I'm like if I go to a networking, I will just go to a group. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, I can help you with that. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to go to a networking uh, session with you and just, just run behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the person who hides behind my screen. Oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't bother me, though. People tag me. I just think, oh, cool. But, you know. No, see, I don't like that. And that's, that's the reason why I don't do it in my group. So I don't want to force people to say, no. come on, come out of your shell and tell us what you're all like, you know. So maybe I should, but maybe that's for another, another time. But <laughs> no, at the moment, no. <laughs> oh, okay. So have you got anything else that you would like to share about groups? About okay. groups? Gosh, yeah, I could be here all day. Like I could tell you what you should or shouldn't do in groups all the time <laughs> because I see it all the time well, in my on, group. Tell us your pet peeve. My pet peeve is people being underhand and it, you, can, you can generally tell when they're doing it. Or people who are de deliberately in there to disrupt the group or they try and, you know, use a bit of emotional black, wow, that drives me nuts. Yes. Um, I can generally spot it a mile off. Um, but generally speaking, I love it when people engage on a thread and do it. Even if they've got different opinions, it's really, really good to you know, uh, have a good discussion as long as nobody's rude or anything like that. So I love people posting in the group and getting into things and talking about all the things they do about pricing and the day-to-day -day issues they have. That is what the group is there for. What I don't like is, you know, blatant self-promotion. I don't even promote myself in the group. You know what I mean? <laughs> I actually remember once before the admin, um, before the admin, what's it called? Badge came out because now on yeah. Facebook you have the admin badge. I remember yeah. once somebody asking, like, like, well, who, who the hell are you? Kind of thing. <laughs> You're like, well, no, I, he, said I was, he called me a troll, didn't oh, he? <laughs> yes, I did. he? He said, I've got rid of the troll now because I. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so now hopefully people can see that I run the group. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't want to go around and, you know, throw myself about a bit, but it, it, it does help. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it is, it's not my group. I haven't branded it. It's no, a group for you, everybody. Yeah. You know, there's some yeah. really, really good copywriters in there and there's some newbie ones. You know, we're all at different levels in our um, career, so I want to keep it like that. And it'll only it will only stay as good as it is if I carry a big stick, really. All right, <laughs> then. Watch out, everyone. You'll be seeing Ellen with a big stick if you step out of line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no, that's, all I, that, that's my big pet peeve, really. What about you, Tara? I think maybe it's when people come in and they don't contribute. So I like helping people, as you know. People say, oh, I've got this problem. I'll jump in and help out. And um, but then they only come in when they have a problem that I don't like. So, you know, there, for example, there's a group that I'm in, um, a WordPress group, and I'm not as active in there, but I love reading through all the solutions that they provide to people. When I realize that I need help with something, I will probably spend a day going through, checking what people have said and contributing because I feel a bit bad. I can't go in there and just, just ask for something. But a lot of people do it, they drop in. And they're like, help me, help me. And then they drop out again. I don't mm. like that. Mm. Um, yeah, that's, that's true. Or, or another way of doing things is, as well, and I've seen this in your group, 
Um, there are lurkers and I think they, they have their place in all types of groups, not just online. Um, and maybe they've been getting so much value, they realize it's time that they, they feel comfortable to ask for help. But before they ask for help, they introduce themselves and they're transparent. I've been lurking here for a while and I've really appreciated some of the, you know, the information here. Sometimes they name people as well. So they're giving context to, you know, they're not just making it up. Then that's fine. I like that. But yeah, I don't like people that are just users, I suppose is the, is the word. Just go yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess that, that, that's the nature of groups though, isn't it? But generally, I, I love Facebook nature groups. So they're, they're great. <laughs> oh, another, actually, another good one that I joined this week is, um, and it's just really new, but it's got a nice vibe to it. And that's um, called Sell More with Social Media. You might like that, okay. actually, Tyler. Uh, yeah, Sell More. Is that on Facebook, Facebook or LinkedIn? That's on Facebook and it's run by a, a chap called Dylan Hay. He's very lovely. So, uh, yeah, so I'm checking out that at the moment. Because so. I tell you that I've done a purge and I'm just focusing, you're like, <laughs> putting these out there. No, <laughs> yeah, I'll just make you yes, I will not again. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Well, you'll put all of that in the in the Yes, yes, so. all the links, all the groups I've mentioned. Okay. Yep. So I think we can, we can start to wrap this up, but I would yeah. like to ask everyone, please could you share in the comments just one, one of your favorite groups. It's hard, isn't it? Because if everybody's got quite a few, but if you can share one of your favorite groups just to help me, you know, with my purging, <laughs> maybe that's <laughs> why I did the purge. Because <laughs> it would be interesting to see which groups you, you know, you really rate. And don't feel you have to add Eleanor, she's here, she'll be fine if you want to add somebody else's, because I really would like to see um, some of the groups that people are getting some value from, so we can have a look and spread the word. Yeah, um, okay, so, that's a good idea, brilliant. <laughs> what do you have to share with everyone today? Do you have anything going on? Or maybe oh, for the newbies, sure. where can they find you and all of that? Jazz. Um, well, everyone can find <laughs> everyone can find me at Creative Copywriting, or you can join my groups, the Copywriter. Easy to remember. You yeah, know, the Copywriter on LinkedIn or Facebook. And obviously, if you want to learn how to write utterly compelling emails, please do join up to my marvelous online course, the Utterly Compelling Email Copywriter. That's cool. all for me. <laughs> and um, everyone you know you can find me on any social media Tara Tamika is my handle um, and I do want to share that this week there are two products everybody knows that I'm a fan of AppSumo and there are two products that you have to get you just have to have to get I love spying there's one uh, that's come out so you can spy on people's Google ads why not it's great Wow. Because then you can find out what they're, you know, what they're ranking for and their keywords yeah, yeah. and also how they write their copy and how well they're doing. And the other one, which I think might be of more interest to everyone, is um, a, what's it called? A survey tool. It's only 50 bucks. 50 bucks! And it will totally replace Typeform, SurveyMonkey, and even Gravity Form. So I'll put the links below. But uh, yeah, that's what I'll be playing around with this weekend. Hence the purge of the groups because I need to play around with these tools. <laughs> you need to start You need to start spying properly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, <laughs> you know I don't spy well enough. So <laughs> that's it from us this week. So it's goodbye from me. And a piece of great copy from me. <laughs> Bye. Bye.